All right, our Storm Center coverage continues here on the Weather Network. It's Thursday, March the 21st. Meteorologist Nicole Karkic is going to walk us through the forecast for Alberta. Connor O'Donovan in the streets of Calgary going to be talking about things that are happening now. And whatever time's left over, I'll take care of the rest of the country. But it, Connor, let's begin with you. Now, snowfall in March, we can talk benefits and inconveniences. Let's start with, first of all, just a few days ago, it felt like spring. It was short sleeves weather and then just turned on a dime. What's it like out there? Yeah, it's certainly a stark contrast here on 17th Ave to just a few days ago when patios all along this street, which is one of Calgary's busiest for bars and restaurants, were absolutely packed. And as you mentioned, lots of shorts, lots of t-shirts, people enjoying that sun. Well, they could because I think they knew this was coming. And a couple days later, here we are. Almost 20 centimeters of snow has fallen on the city. And it's it's really turned what was green and maybe brown back to white. Uh, the roads, as you can see, are looking pretty white. That's caused some, some traffic chaos the last couple of days, especially yesterday. There was some big crashes along Highway 2. RCMP warning people Tuesday, actually, not to drive if they don't have to, saying that stretch of Highway 2 between Red Deer and Calgary is a particularly dangerous one. And sure enough, we saw a few jackknife semis out there that shut down traffic for a period of time. So snow is continuing today. Obviously, that's uh, keeping things treacherous out there. So like always, when this happens, if you uh, if you do have to travel today, give yourself a bit more time and, and maybe lay off the accelerator. Thanks so much, Connor. But, you know, there's some benefits to this storm, I suppose. Agriculture, that's good. But also, I don't know, are you a skier, Connor? I am a skier, yeah. No, the, uh, the, road, the ski hills out there in the Rockies certainly rejoicing about this snow. Uh, it's, it's been a difficult year for some, some of the Western Canadian ski resorts. I know that uh, they, they got some decent snow uh, at the end of February, early this month, and, and this latest dump is definitely going to make things a little nicer for them. And if you haven't uh, gotten out this year, now's your chance. Spring skiing is great in Alberta. You can swap out those shorts you were wearing a few days ago for some snow pants and uh, find some powder. There's lots to be had on the mountains in the next few days for sure. And yeah, <laughs> Uh, the snow definitely great for those suffering from drought as well, both uh, here in the city with the river and uh, down in the farmland in the south of Alberta as well. Okay, well, thanks, Connor. We know we're going to find him this weekend. Now, we are looking at uh, cold temperatures. I mean, below average, you step outside, you can feel it. Snow, yes, ongoing. It's starting to ease, though, over uh, this evening along the QE2, and you get a break day there on Friday. That will be nice. Our forecast though, through Thursday, though, 10 to 20 centimeters for Calgary. Uh, so we've already seen 20 centimeters roughly uh, for Calgary. So we're going to add on a few more through today before things wrap up. So that has been your snowfall forecast through the event. And then through the weekend, more snow is in the forecast. This round lighter, but locally from when this started Tuesday to when it ends on Sunday, Chris, we've got a good, you know, 20 to 30 centimeters in some locales, maybe even some more. There you go. So uh, March is typically the snowiest month in Calgary. Let's take a look at across our forecast across the country, daytime highs, and there are more places that will have um, negative temperatures than positive temperatures. Although Vancouver, 12 degrees, looking pretty good. Halifax, we've got three degrees. You've seen your rain showers. Uh, heavier snow, though, northern New Brunswick, Quebec City, and eastwards through the Gaspé Peninsula, the lower North Shore. 15 to 25 centimeters of snow by the time it's said and done. And then we look upstream and a Colorado low is set to bring more snow, this time a little further south. Now the track has been giving weather models fits all week long, but this is our latest uh, guidance and it could be a good 5 to 10, locally 15 centimeters of snow for some big populations tomorrow.